McLean pulling a 7-3 victory over the Bakersfield Condors. Coach, tons of offense, started hot, had to respond a little bit in the start of the second period. What do you think of tonight's game? Uh, I thought that we had a, a solid start and certainly played through some adversity there when Bakersfield tied it up at the end of the second. Um, I thought we you know, were sort of hemmed in and fighting it there for a while, but give the guys credit, they did come out well in the second period, and I thought our third period was our best. So you like to see that trend through the game, uh, settle into it and play better when you have the lead and put it to bed. As a coach, when you're going into that third period, you're up to and you get that quick goal, imagine you have to like that killer instinct you're seeing from your team to really bury the opponent. Yeah, I like that a lot. I, I, it's credit to our guys. It, you know, we have some good offensive talent, and uh, they made some good plays, but I think the key was they started managing the puck better, playing behind Bakersfield more, and not making it into such a transition game, but capitalizing when we did have the opportunity to transition on offense. Luke Felt now nine goals in the last ten games. What have you seen from him that's allowed him to flip the switch like he has? Well, I think he's just he's had his chance to get his feet wet uh hard-working guy with good hockey sense and very shifty in terms of his feet and his hands being able to to you know move quickly so i think it's sort of a graduation of him just figuring the league out nine goals in 10 games is quite a pace uh, and i you know no one's going to put pressure on him to keep that up but if he can continue to score on a consistent basis that's really good i think uh, uh it's not by mistake let's say that Looking at Matthew Phillips now, nine points in five games, not to beat a dead horse, but he just keeps contributing. Um, yeah. how, how big a boost is he for I, I, He was big tonight. I thought that he was really effective. And the, the thing that you like about Matthew is that he was also winning some battles against much bigger opponents, retaining pucks. And when he's able to do that, he's going to have it more. And then, you know, you just do the math from there. He has it more. He's going to make more plays. So it's uh, the effort and the compete I thought was really good. And, and, you know, that sort of translates into, you know, some good numbers on the board. Our team, Zach Doolin, was really strong in relief on Wednesday and really solid start tonight. Just one uh, save shy of the Heat season high for the season. What have you seen from him between the pipes lately? He's he finds a way to get it done. Bottom line, he finds a way to get wins. We gave him uh, way too many shots the first period. Uh, you know, I thought that we were swimming a bit in the second ten minutes of our first period. Zaggy was scored on, but I think he did a good job of keeping that game uh, in hand and keeping it an even game coming out of there. So credit to him. Uh, I think the big thing is he just finds a way to get it done. And lastly, for you, five regulation losses on the year, followed by five wins. What is it about this team's DNA that just lets you guys bounce back every every time? Well, we talk about it, and I think the guys, you know, there's a good character in the room, uh, from leaders all the way down through guys uh, that we have that are new to the team. I think that they care about what goes on on that ice, and they care about the group. And so we talk about making sure that if we lose a game, we answer the bell right away, and the guys did a good job of that tonight. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you.